What's up everybody and welcome back to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. Today I want to show you guys how to stream onto many platforms at once. So what I do is usually when I'm streaming, I am streaming onto YouTube and Mixer and Twitch all at the same time and there's a way to do that. So what you want to do basically there is this program called Restream.io. Just go to Restream.io and then it'll take you there. If you search for it in Google, you will find it as well. It is a great uh, website and it helps you out a lot. What you do basically is you get into the website. You're going to have to do a login thing and kind of sign in with your account. Uh, just a normal login sort of thing. And then basically it takes you to this dashboard here. And you can see here I've got these channels on here already. The YouTube stream, the Twitch, and the Mixer. What you do is you want to click on Add Channel. So when you add a channel, you pick the type of channel that you want to stream on so say we're doing like a twitch stream uh, what oh okay so I already have one in there if you want to do two twitch channels or two YouTube channels basically you're going to have to pay and you can actually do that you can stream on to multiple channels uh, for twitch or YouTube or mixer but since I already have one on here what it's gonna do is when you add the channel it asks you for the stream key so uh, in order to get stream keys for YouTube and for Twitch and for Mixer, it's all a little different. From the front panel in YouTube, just click on my channel and then it'll take you over to your channel. And then you can click on the video manager here, which will give you the options on the left side so that you can go into your dashboard for live streaming. So right here, see how it says the live streaming? So you click on that and it will take you to the live streaming dashboard. Once you're here, this is where you set up all your stuff for your live stream, your, your custom thumbnail, your title, your description. But at the very bottom, if you scroll down, this is where you will get your stream key. I'm not going to show it to you guys. Do not show your stream key to anybody, otherwise they can stream onto your channel. But basically you grab this, you copy this, and then that is the information that you add for your YouTube information. Now if you're going onto Twitch to get your stream key, you go to the front of there, and then you can go into Video Manager. And then from the video manager, you can see over here on the left side, you'll find the settings. And then if you scroll down from the settings, oops, something went wrong. Okay, let's try this one more time. All right, scroll down from the settings and then you can go in here to stream key and you click on stream key. You can show the key and then that's where you show the key and that's where you copy your stream key from there. And then that's how you add that information for Restream IO. Now, if you go into Mixer, you go here and then you go into Manage Channel. And then from the Channel Manager, you can see up at the top, you can get your stream key. You can get your stream set up. You can regenerate a new one. Uh, if you highlight over here, it'll show it, but you can go over there and you can copy your stream key down below here. So after you get that, again, you add the channel, you pick Mixer, you add the stream key there, and then you're good to go. Next, what you want to do for the information that you're going to add to OBS when you're doing streaming, some people use XSplit, some people use different programs. I use OBS, it is free, it is easy to use. Just look up OBS Studio and it is pretty straightforward. It is a really, really good program. What you want to do is here, you're, you want to pick a, basically the closest server. So uh, the, the one that's closest to me is this one here in Seattle. If you're in the US, find which one of these is closest to you. If you're somewhere else around the world, just find whichever server is the closest to your physical location. So this is the one that I pick. Uh, this is the, the link for that. I don't need that. What I need here is the stream key. Uh, you can also regenerate it. So you want to highlight this. You want to copy that. And then this is basically going to be the stream key that you use that is going to help you restream to all three of these services. So you go into your OBS and you go up into files and then go into settings. Once this pops up, you see the second selection here, stream. And then this is where you're going to want to set up your streaming services. So streaming services is the one that we're going to do. No custom streaming server. Uh, you want to select as the service. You want to select Restream IO. Here again, you're going to select the same server that you picked from Restream. So again, I'm picking that one from Seattle. And then that stream key that you copied, you just paste it right here. Uh, I'm not going to show you, but if you want to see what it is, you can click show and you can see what that key is. Uh, so once you paste that, then you're basically all set up and ready to go. You can set up your output settings and your video and all that stuff separately. Uh, but this is how you set it up. If all those keys are set up correctly for your YouTube and your Twitch and your Mixer, all you have to do is click start streaming and you will start streaming and it will go out to all three of those services. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about this, then please put those questions in the comments below and I will be happy to try to help you out with anything that you've got going on. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.